We just arrived. So brang antong na tapa ako kasi I didn't sleep that much. So it's fine. I had like coffee, and unfortunately we we cannot uh, check in early at our Airbnb. Kaya we are going to kill six hours because it's already eight here, and we have to check in at um, two. Yeah, it's a waste of time. Anyway, I guess we're just gonna get some breakfast first. That was. Another thing, it's also cloudy, so I'm not sure what's the weather gonna be. So, uh, not doing so good. It's not going so good right now, but keeping my hopes up that it's going to be a good travel. So, do you guys want to hear the worst experience oh. after waiting for? Um, six or seven hours uh, for our Airbnb host to give us our key he decided to cancel our reservation he was asking for additional money on top of the payment which we already made which is unacceptable because it's already been given to him uh, on this kind of uh, payment on this mode of payment in Airbnb so at this point uh, we're still looking for a place to stay I'm just so I'm just so frustrated with uh, the whole situation and we didn't have enough sleep and all of this happened so it's just so overwhelming at this very moment that I'm still shaking so yeah Whew. so uh, I'm just so uh, frustrated and so angry right now that I couldn't even uh, put into words what I'm what I'm feeling because sobrang sobrang inis na inis ako at this very moment even kanina so but uh, since we're already here we're going to stay here for only for two days we're just going to make the most out of it and well it seems like it's it's off to a very bad start so i don't know what i'm going to feel overall with uh this city because this is my first time here and i've already have a negative experience because of the booking and because of the host so therefore um my initial impression to the city will be negative but i just hope i'm just crossing my fingers that it's not going to be like that so So it's afternoon here and I was able to rest a bit, at least calm down. Uh, but my friend and my niece are still sleeping. I, I decided to go out, at least catch fresh air. Um, it's so stressful how Vilnius has welcomed me. So yeah, welcome to Vilnius. Uh, I don't want to have the unfair impression of the city because of that single experience so I'm just trying to be very um, optimistic and it is what it is but let's just see Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> this is officially our first day to tour around the city. And after all the dramas yesterday, I think we deserve to uh, have a break. We just finished our lunch and sobrang uh, full kami. Uh, we're so full and yeah. What else? Uh, right now we are going to go and do some sightseeing. Cathedral. Um, we're just walking around and enjoying the sights here in Vilnius. And so far, we are doing really good. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And here, ano ba? Um, may init pa rin yung weather today. Uh, and it hasn't rained so far, and, which is nice because, uh, see, look at the view. As you can see, uh, uh, well, basically, it's still summer, so yeah. we don't know where we're going actually because uh, we don't have any definite plans uh, or itinerary. And yeah, so, kung ano lang yung namin, dun lang kami and we also ask for some suggestions to other people, so that's why we went to Old Town uh, earlier. This is officially our last day here in Vilnius and Ah uh, well, no Not yet The 
current situation here in Vilnius uh, when it comes to the uh, coronavirus is hindi na required na mask outside pero when you enter a, a shop or any establishments you are being required by the owner or the uh, attendant to wear a mask once you enter inside the premise or a shop. Uh, buying souvenirs, I always uh, tend to go to those banquetas. Because um, aside from the fact that there are more choices, it's the same thing that you're going to get in the shop. There are more And yeah, I think um, it's going to be a better deal if, uh, for instance, you're going to buy a lot of uh, souvenirs to your friends and family. Um, it's more advisable to buy um, and to buy in these um, street shops rather than going to the shops or the stores. We just finished our lunch and another Ate Shawi moment. Uh, and now we're heading back to our place. Tapos, ano, uh, we're just going to rest a bit because we still have uh, time to spare uh, before our next bus trip to our next destination. The overall stay here in Vilnius is uh, pretty amazing. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, beautiful places and uh, mostly churches. They have a lot of churches here. Tapos, speaking of, yeah. So anyway, uh, we're just going to give you guys an update later. And Okay, so right now we're back in Vilnius uh, bus station. We're off to our next destination. And we still have like 10 minutes to spare. And yeah, so far um, we've really enjoyed our uh, stay here in Vilnius despite of all the problems and the uh, um, fiasco in the Airbnb. But nevertheless, um, yeah, I, I hope to come back here soon. And as for our next travel, um, we're just going to give you guys an update on San Kami Pupunta. And if you like and enjoy this video, why don't you hit the subscribe button? Hit that subscribe button and feel free to like and share and leave your comments down below. The bus is already waiting here, so uh, we better get going. So this is going to be it for me for now. And see you on my next travel.